Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna continue with our heap sort tutorial. And uh, what we did last time was uh, create the whole concept of the heap. The whole heap, we created a heap. Let me just execute and show you. We created this heap, which was, you know, awesome. And this is the amount of elements which are inside this heap, um, obviously. This is the two sort array of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if you check it, yeah, it's proper heap. Anyway. Um, so the next thing we need to do is basically sort it out. So how are we going to do that? So the way we do that is we take the first element. This is basically a max heap. We take the first element of the max heap and exchange it with the third with the last element. So now three will be in place of ninety eight. So once that happens, um, we decrement this value and then we check it for only th these many values. Obviously, because then this, this will be less. So this is our you know condition checker or whatever. Anyway. So that's what we do, and then after that happens, we're going to do the same process over and over again until the whole thing will be sorted. And you will see that after, um, you know, after every decrement of this, we need to check if this follows the properties of the heap. Because the properties of the heap are the whole point of why the heap is being sorted. So let's just get into that. So the first thing we will need to do is uh, swap, basically. So instead of uh, just going and swapping it, we're going to make a while loop. So while to sort array of 0 is not equal to 0 basically or is greater than 0 and uh, if that is there then we're going to do to sort array of oh, the a is missed sorry a minus minus 0 okay so this is our condition loop conditional loop in which we're going to sort it out and we're going to figure out the answer. So what we're going to do, the, f the first thing we're going to do is exchange the first element with the last element which is this two sort array element. Basically two sort array is element is equal to 10, right? And we have 11, max equal to 11, so that will be the 10th element. The nth element is the 10th element, obviously. So we go, instead of just going like that, just, just copy and paste this thing. I mean, obviously, this is the same thing, so we can just copy and paste. So in here we're gonna do two sort array of zero. Oh sorry, not zero, one. And here one. And here we're gonna have this value. Now just comprehend it. You just have to fathom the thought of it happening, you see? You so what what did we do here? We took the first element and we replaced exchanged it, not replace is the wrong word, we exchanged it it with this element over here, this element, so two sort array of zero elements. So initially, if uh, that is equal to you know 11 is equal to 10, then we'll exchange it with the you know the two sort array of 10th element. So then you'll you'll have this minus minus. And then we'll exchange with the ninth element. Then we'll exchange with the eighth element. And before doing that, we need to now check if the heap is actually a heap. And if it is not a heap, then we have problem. So what do we do? We just copy and paste this whole thing, <laughs> obviously, because this is the heap checker and heap inserter, and we paste it in between the the negatives. That is the decremental and the whole um, s swapping process. And uh, <laughs> what things do we need over here? You take this out, obviously, because you can't have a new array given there. And uh, this you need it, but instead of using temp, you can use another name that is temp two yeah because uh, then the temp and the temp will be you know they will be clashing with each other the compiler will be confused and you will have big problems and instead of doing this you can just put that over here as our checker because we need to check only till that point and now magically the whole thing will work see it was magic that's how simple it was <laughs> I mean you must have thought the heaps or was like this great big mystery which nobody ever saw but this was that easy I mean just copy and paste a few things and it worked anyway let's just go through the whole thing and see how it um, you know works I just want to encourage you to like check out some graphical representation of the heap sort being a binary tree uh, so that you might get a bit more understanding because this is the code is always going to be here but if you don't understand how it works graphically then there's no point of me teaching you and this was not really what teaching, it was really simple. I, I know that in the books it's really hard. I mean, I've learned from the books and I didn't understand anything most of the time. But now I do, so you know, I like to, to help other people. Um, so yeah, this is heap sort.
int temp. So what we do over here is we take the last element, okay, see 88, and we exchange it with this element over here. That is in the heap, basically. And after exchanging it, we do 10 minus minus. See, in la at the end, 10 is 0. I mean, the first element is 0 because we did minus 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 like that many times. So here, that is 10. Then we do minus, and then we check if this is a heap. Okay, if this this part is a heap. And if it's not a heap, then we convert into a heap by this process. I mean, in the in the books, they'll have functions for down adjust, up adjust, and all that stuff. You don't need it. It's just to, you know, increase the length of your code. I mean, look at this. This is like, I don't know, totally 89 lines of code, which you which we typed like five was you know, very less amount of time. And uh, that's it. That's what's a heap sort. I mean, it's not very difficult. I will uh, still encourage everybody to take a pen and a paper and sort it out with themselves and, you know, do it. Uh, the code is in the description. Like, share, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, heap sort. That easy. Hmm. I made the program, so, you know, awesomeness. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.